Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Diablo 4. Now before I start, I need to mention that this is a live service game, which means that it will get a lot of updates, or at least it should. And if you watch this at some point in the future, some things might look a lot different to you. And some things that I say might be different. So let's begin. At the moment there are only 5 classes in the game. If you right click on each one you can get their overview. I'm gonna pick this class, choose a lady, there are some presets here, customize, there are four face variations, I'm gonna choose this one, eye color, this one, hairstyle I'm gonna leave this one but I can show you the others. Gonna take that facial hair, redhead, cause of course. There is some makeup. I do like this one. There's some jewelry that you can pick. I like this one. There are some markings. I like this one with this blood color. Now what is hardcore? If you pick this, your character has only one life and if you die, you lose that character forever, and in the world you can only see other hardcore players. Now this skip campaign option does what it says. It allows you to skip the main campaign, the main quest line. It just throws you into the world for you to do the world events, side quests and stuff like that. You don't have to finish the main story again. And now what will be the name? Now the game offers us two difficulties, one and two. At the time of recording this, I don't really recommend difficulty two. Because in difficulty two, you only get more experience and gold from the monsters you kill. You don't get that from quests that you complete. You don't get more loot, you don't get better loot compared to difficulty one. So at the moment, the difficulty one is kind of the best difficulty to play on. I mean, it's subjective, but I prefer difficulty 1 in this type of game. And later, you can unlock higher difficulties, which actually give you more and better loot than difficulty 2. Sanctuary was never meant for humankind. It was forged as a refuge from the war between the high heavens and the burning hells. Instead, it became a new battleground in this eternal conflict. A secretive group called the Haradrim has kept mortals safe. But now this once powerful order is a husk of what it was and Sanctuary's ancient creators have returned to claim the hearts of humankind. This is the story of their downfall.
I should find better shelter before I freeze. Now in that cutscene, that wolf had some markings on his face. And if you read the Book of Adria, which is a book about Diablo, you might recognize those markings and who they belong to. But I'm not gonna spoil, I guess we will find out. Now, this is a skill tree in Diablo 4, or some of you might call it a skill twig. Up here I have 10 available points. Why do I have them at the start of the game? It's because I've already played through this game and I have unlocked lots of points which I can use on all my alt characters. I also have 9 potions down here. When you start the game for the first time, you only have like 3 and you have to unlock the rest of the potions. So. I'm gonna use the points right away, just to get through this much faster. So, for the first skill, I like to take Arc Lash. I really like this skill at the moment. When you pick a skill, you can see this bar filling up. So that means you have to invest two skill points here, in this first branch, so that you can pick up next skill. Now. To proceed further, you don't have to spend 4 points in this branch, like this. You can assign points and remove them whenever you want. And at this level, you can see that refund rank costs 0 gold. So at this level, refunding skill points doesn't cost anything. You can experiment, do whatever you want. Later, it will cost some money, but it doesn't cost a lot, so you can always experiment in this game. Now, to get here, you don't have to invest points in this branch. You can put points anywhere. Anywhere to get down here. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. I like to pick Arc Lash, then pick this skill, because, I mean, you have to pick this one if you want to pick one of these two, and then I like to pick this one. Then here, for now I like Chain Lightning with this one and this one. And then I like to take Teleport with this one and this one. So basically every time I teleport, I take less damage for three seconds and then the last skill I can use it here why not now there is another tree that you unlock at level 50 unfortunately I cannot click on it now until I reach level 50 and that's about it here we have character and abilities this is our character here you have your inventory consumables, quest items, aspects, which I will show later. Down here you have gold. This is all the gold that I got on my previous character, so the gold is shared on your account. Then you have another currency, PvP currency, which is also shared. And then you have obols, which are also shared on your account. I like to call these balls, because that's just how I like to call them. So. If you ever hear me mention my balls are full, this is what I mean. Here you have some stats like attack power, armor, life, strength, intelligence, willpower, dexterity. These stats are different for each class, at least they give you different things for each class. Since uh, sorceress uh, main attribute is intelligence, the sorceress gains damage from intelligence and she gains some other stats from other attributes. Uh, barbarian would get uh, more damage from strength, uh, rogue would get more damage from dexterity and so long. So the stats are always the same on all classes but they give different things to different classes. Here you have material tab and the stats tab showing you all kinds of stats 
all kinds of uh, materials that you can gather in the game. These materials, by the way, are shared on your account. So you can farm materials on, an, on one character and uh, use them on another one. And that's about it. So let's actually play the game. By the way, more talking, I apologize. I need to mention that you do want... You can turn on damage numbers here if you want to. But I heavily recommend advanced tooltip, information and compare. Why do I recommend that? It's because when you hover over your item, you will be able to see stat ranges on every item. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you can see the minimum and the maximum amount that each stat can roll, each stat can have. Another abandoned town. Demons everywhere. Fangs in the dark. Ah, he bit me! Careful! He's a wild one! What's it to you? Oswen, hush! I'm sorry, Wanderer. You've come at a difficult time. This madman just stumbled into town and started causing trouble. Demons! Spilling from the ruins! Kill us all! Kill us all! Ruins? What is he talking about? Come, I'll explain. There is evil staring in the ruins to the north. That poor monk back there must have gone inside. Even a holy man like him was driven mad by whatever he saw. These will keep you safe. So this is an NPC that sells you items. Here you can see that he will get a new stock in like 25 minutes. What? What's that? Y you say something? Oh, you poor thing. Traveling in this awful weather. What's that? Y you say something? I have remedies if you're injured. The healer heals you, and it also replenishes your potions. If Devmir's taking up all the space by the fire, just give him a shove. <laughs> if Devmir's taking up all the space by the fire... <laughs> Fire's looking good. But I should watch it a little longer. To make sure it doesn't go out. A warm hearth. There are still things to be grateful for in this world. I'm sorry, it's a bit cramped. It's still better than a cave. Alenta went a bit deaf last winter. You might need to speak up around her. Ah. Uh. Nothing special about our little town, but it's home. We'll do what we can for him. Might have to keep him in the shed for now, though. He tried to bite off Osman's fingers. Could you protect us from whatever is out there? We have nowhere else to turn. There is evil lurking in those ruins. I will drag it into the light of day. Truly? Oh, thank you. So, you already get another level. I'm gonna put that here. In the chain lightning. Now, in this playthrough, you might see me change some skills a little bit. Uh, that's because... 
the game gives you random loot, random legendaries, and I might get some legendary or items for some other spells. So if I get them, I might switch to some other spells. I might not stick to only this variation. Now down here, you can see mount. And I do have a mount. The reason why I have a mount is because I earned this mount on another character. If not, you get this mount way later in the story. And on PC, your mount will go faster or slower depending on how close the cursor is to the mount. And you can zoom in and out. Watch out, eh? He's a biter. You need a wet nurse or something? Piss off. The mount has spur, which makes him uh, run faster. It also has freezing wake, this is different for every class. So basically you can dismount with an attack. I'm not ready yet. This red thing on the ground is a potion, and if you're missing some, you can pick it up. That's a proper way to go, but I'm gonna go this way, because why not? Now this is the first elite that we see, and I know that because of that small icon under the health. That icon indicates the ability of the elite, and some elites might have more than one icon, which means more abilities. And under their health on the top, you can see their abilities names. Now, you can see plus 7 dexterity on this item, and in the squared brackets it says 6 to 8. That is the advanced tooltip, which means that this item can only roll between 6 or 8 dexterity, and it rolled 7.
Now I've got to the maximum rank on this spell, which is 5. But with certain items, you can get that rank much higher. This thing replenishes your health and your health potions. Now you can see that the boss has these three triangles here. On each triangle, the boss will drop health potions for you. And the boss might also gain some abilities the lower the health is. Out of mana. The boss dropped some blue items or magic items. Blue or magic items are better than uh, white items. There are also rare items, which are yellow. There are legendary items. And there are unique items. You've returned. The old ruins are clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly. Ha! Huh. By the light, you are heaven sent. Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer. But we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. To our savior! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
My mother's blood, my mother's body. So uh, shall you witness her glory before you die. <laughs> Get up! Get up! We have to fight our way out! There! Take them! May the light preserve us. Lost souls! All of you! All of them. Light willing. Madman. Those heretics drugged me after I returned from the ruins. Just like you. I came to my wits and escaped. Tried to get inside the chapel, but it was locked. And... <laughs> what manner of evil is this? Petals of blood? Oh, they, they must have fed them to me. A blasphemous ritual. How did they learn this? Perhaps the answer lies in the chapel. They kept it locked up for a reason. The key might be on that woman who was leading them. Fire can cleanse the darkness in this place. Have a look inside, but hurry. I will prepare the torch. Looking for the town priest. He stopped sending tithes, and I came to find out why. As I neared the village, I sensed the darkness around the ruins. I went to investigate, found the priest's body. Demons. Foolishly, I took shelter in Nevesk and ate their food. 
You'll know the rest. Blood petals. Like the ones I was fed. Is this real? Shameful. Our father has granted you a path to salvation. <laughs> and yet, you stray from it at every opportunity. You drink and gamble. You covet and steal. Shameful. Thank the light. You collapsed inside. I thought the darkness had swallowed you. I dragged you here and put this cursed place to the torch. What happened to you in there? I saw a vision. A horned demon. She said the lords of hell are coming. She wanted to help the people survive. Help them? She called them her children. And they welcomed her like... a mother. 
Mother? No. It cannot be. I must report to the cathedral. Listen, there is a hermit to the northeast. A man of questionable loyalty. But he knows of the Forbidden. He might be useful to us. Bring him to the cathedral in Kiovashad, and you will be in the Light's favor. Do not call her that. It is a demon, Lilith. The Gospel says that she will walk among the people, posing as the Mother of Sanctuary. If she is here, uh, it is humankind's own sin that has brought her. He surrounds himself with dark knowledge. Tread carefully, and pray he has not fallen to Lilith as well. The reason why they call Lilith the mother is because she is the creator of this place, and this is her statue. There are over a hundred of Lilith statues in the world, and by taking each and every one of them, you unlock some attributes. That's why my attributes are high, you unlock some skill points, stuff like that. And once you click on all of them, you gain those stats on all of your characters. So that's why my character is so beefy, because I played one character, got all of the statues, did uh, all of the quests and stuff like that, so... That's why I have everything on this character. Now, this is the whole map in Diablo 4. Up here, like when I hover over a region, up here you can see fractured peaks. This is this upper right region of the map. You can also see the level required for each zone. You can see to the right Renown. It says uh, 25 out of 2490. Renown is basically your reputation in the region. To the right there are waypoints, how many waypoints are there. Then to the right the Red Skull are the strongholds. Those are settlements which you have to conquer, kill enemies, liberate them from enemies. Then the blue exclamation point are the side quests. To the right of that are how many regions in a zone have you explored. To the right the gate are the dungeons in the region. And to the right the last one are the Lilith statues that you can find in Fractured Peaks. Now to the right of the statues you can see W, View Rewards. If you press that, you can see like renowned levels and what you get for each one. It is explained below that the upper part, gold and experience, are for the character that you play as, and the bottom part are for all the characters on your realm. And the last two tiers are locked behind tier 3, which is the third difficulty in the game. You can finish the reputation for them before you unlock them, you just can't claim the reward before you unlock them. Now this here is a side event. I'm gonna go in just to show it, but we don't have to go in. So why do they call Lilith Mother? It's because she created this place, the world of Diablo. She, couple of demons, couple of angels, they created all of this. And she is the mother of the first human that was ever created. 
so basically angels and demons had a thing going on and they created humans you might also hear the word nephilim they created the nephilim but the nephilim are just more powerful humans I need time to prepare that. Every time you discover a new part of the map, you get some renown. I highly recommend collecting all these plants plants and ores resources because you will need them for some upgrades I need time to prepare that. Is anyone here? What are you hiding back here? Short fangs, young, freshly turned, an easy kill, further south than the others. They're spreading. Supper. I'm bloody hungry. That's quite the story. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. Why did I have that vision? Thank those friendly villagers. They gave you the blood of Lilith. The blood of a demon. Not just any demon. The daughter of hatred. The mother of sanctuary. She was banished ages ago. But this world is her creation. <sighs> it was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. But Lilith 
serves neither side. She has her own plans for us. And me? Am I corrupted? Not sure yet. But you two share a connection. What will you do about it? Use it. Find out what she's after. Good. Then we're in this together. Rest while you can. Then we'll start in Kiovashad. If we can't stop Lilith, we'll all be damned. Now, you may wonder who's this guy. He is a guy that we meet for the first time in Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls expansion. And this game takes place 50 years after Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. This close to the city. Lilith's evil is spreading. veins I highly recommend picking these up I'm sure you've heard the Cathedral of Light babbling about their Holy Father. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. And when he learns that Lilith is here, blood will flow. They are ancient enemies. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud unless we can stop it. Let's not linger. Kiobashad lies just ahead. Hold. To enter the city, you must we first... We have no time for this. Oh. To enter Kiyobashad, you must perform a cleansing ritual. It's a meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in it. How dare you? Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine. But this one stays. I'll meet you inside. Take a piece of holy cedar wood from the shrine and inscribe it with the sin which troubles you. Then cast it into the brazier. As the fire burns the wood, so too will the light burn away your sin. Now here we have a choice, but this game doesn't have any consequences for your choices in the story. <sighs> this is a waste of time. Did you say something? You must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Welcome to Kyovashad. Well, a man that old has lived through some dark days. Explains why he's so cross.
So, what did you write on a little piece of wood? I bet you didn't write anything at all. Wouldn't blame you. Well, it matters little, I suppose. I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know what part he plays in all this. But first, I need you to retrieve something of mine while I finish my negotiations. A merchant in the center of the city has it. Just tell him I sent you. Sacrificing. Summoning demons. Honing all the wonderful gifts that Lilith gave them. The Cathedral loves to go on about him. His imprisonment in hell, his valiant escape, his glorious return here, the world he created. But they never mention how being tortured in hell for a few millennia turned you into an ass. There was a prophecy, yes. It foretold the rise of the prime evils, the return of Lilith and Inarius, the doom of our world. Inarius adopted the prophecy for his own selfish purposes, put it in the Cathedral of Light's gospel, and made it seem like he would be the hero to save us. Cracked hooves, sway back, cloudy eyes. This poor thing is practically crowbait. With what you're paying, you're lucky she has four legs. Now, if you take a look at the map of this place, you can already see some icons. If you hover over them, you get some explanations. So, Stable Master. If you play the game for the first time, you probably don't have this. You don't have any mounts unlocked. You don't have any armors for your mounts. Most of these that you see here are unlocked just by dropping in the game. This one is from pre-order. This one is from, I think, uh, the Deluxe Edition. This one is from pre-order. This one is from the Deluxe Edition. And you can also put trophies on your horse. So this one is from Diablo Beta that you could earn. But all the others are trophies that actually drop in the game. Find somewhere else to get warm. I was here first. Here we have Alchemist. At the Alchemist, you can improve your potions, upgrade them. Each upgrade requires specific amount of materials. Then you have Craft Elixirs. Elixirs give you some stats and they also give you experience bonus. Then you can craft materials, incense that increases your stats. I'll be here soon. Say, where are those girls of yours? Finally ran off to play night, have they? They left for Corvalar this morning. They'll have food, training, more than I can give them. This bag here on the map that you see. This NPC sells you a key. Uh, you will need these keys to open some locked chests. Let me see. I don't have any. So I'll buy some. Three for now. Uh, they sell stuff for obols. And the things that they sell... 
Uh, you don't know what this is. You only know that, for example, this is a wand, but when you buy it, you have no clue if this wand will be normal, magic, rare, legendary, it can be anything. Hmm, until next time. So this is where you spend your currency, the obols, balls, to, to have a chance to get legendary items. What will it be? This is a blacksmith. At the blacksmith, you can salvage all your items. When you salvage your items, you also unlock their cosmetics, which you can change at any time. And I'm going to show you soon where. Now, these things dropped on the floor because I can't carry anymore. I'm full. I have 9,999. I highly recommend you to salvage stuff. And if you want money, gold, I highly recommend you to sell stuff. I'm probably gonna sell all my stuff instead of uh, salvaging. Uh, repair is for you to repair items when they lose their ability. The items lose their ability when you die. And this last tab is for you to upgrade your items. I do not recommend item upgrade until you reach, let's say, level 50. Maybe before level 50. But at the start, upgrading uh, these items is just Come a waste. If you need work. And I'm gonna explain why later. Armor vendor, here you can buy and sell stuff. Ah, so the old man's finally decided to buy it back. Knowing him, he didn't mention coin, did he? <laughs> if he wants his weapon, you will need to pay. We need this for a quest. Wait. The old man sold me this too. He said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. No charge. This is the same polearm that he has in Diablo 3. Now, one more time. If you need the materials, salvage your items. If you want gold, sell them. That's it. This thing here is a waypoint. You can use it to teleport to other locations faster. And whenever you use teleport, I'll show you later. You have your own teleport, and your teleport will take you to one of the main towns in the region, next to the waypoint. I was never religious until I saw a miracle. Inarius himself blessed the man with the light, got up and walked again for the first time in years, right then and there. The light is real, my friend. Take comfort in it. You can't take a few steps without hearing about it. The great war against evil. The day Inarius takes all of us up to the heavens with him. I hope my cat will come with us too. Day and night they stream into town. Polite folk. And they always pay their tabs. Not like some of the locals around here. Inarius that she mentions is the daddy. Lilith is the mommy and he's the daddy. Is it common for devout folk to drink so enthusiastically? 
<laughs> I guess I can't blame them. Up here you have your own stash. As you can see, mine is full. You can edit your tabs. Here you have a wardrobe and here you can change how you look. For now I'm gonna leave everything on default. And of course you have this button here, which I'm not gonna click, okay. It doesn't exist. Uh, that shop button actually takes you to the macro transaction shop. Where you can buy lots of cosmetics for real money. See those fools up at the cathedral? <laughs> Groveling, crying like dogs. <laughs> On the minimap, you can see occultist and jeweler being locked. And it tells you unlocks at player level 20 and unlocks at player level 25 or upon acquiring a Codex of Power aspect. And I will talk about that later. Downright sinful, the price you're asking. Just last week, I paid half that for carrots. Purr! You keep this up. We'll either be broke or starving by the next moon. Let's see, is there anything else to explore, to talk to someone? Say it, a damned snake. She keeps them on a chain around her neck. Damn her! Damn her! And I hope she burns for what I've had to watch. It was only an apple I stole. The father wouldn't want me to go hungry, would he? Come on now! How many swims will it take before you hit the damn things? This is Inarius statue. And here you can change the difficulty of the game. I can select any. Because I have played this game on another character. And look at the statue. Look at the statue change. on other difficulties. If you play the game for the first time, the difficulty 3 and 4 will be locked. generations, hell itself imprisoned Father Inarius, but they could not break him. 
He cast off his infernal shackles and returned to us. And now, he will guide the faithful along the path of deliverance. Damn cold, isn't it? But at least we are safe. Beyond these walls, darkness reigns. The new militia recruits have been training night and day. They deserve a little praise. But I can't let them see me as soft. Mind giving them a cheer for me? Easy coin for you, a boost of confidence for the recruits, and I get to go on being the hard ass. Everybody wins. I will handle it. Okay, this is our first side quest. It is marked on the map with a blue circle. It says, Cheer the Training Militia. This quest is a tutorial for the emote wheel. We will need this emote wheel to complete some quests, maybe interact with other players, uh, interact with objects and stuff like that. Well done. Thanks. I hope they don't get used to it. By completing this side quest, we got Herb Cash. You can open it to get some materials. And in this playthrough, I'm gonna focus on doing side quests right away. However, I wouldn't recommend doing them right away. I would recommend at least waiting until you get a horse, if you're playing for the first time. Because the more you wait, the more you're gonna level up through main quests, and the side quests will have stronger enemies later and probably give you better loot. tell you, my neighbor is bewitched by some skulking outside my door, muttering curses. Right, right. This wouldn't have anything to do with the money you owe him, would it? Found an old boil on my hand that, that that makes seventeen so far. Uh, just take the bread, stubborn fool. It was free. We don't need a handout from those cathedral bastards. So, what did you write on the little piece of wood? I bet you didn't write anything at all. Wouldn't blame you. Well, it matters little, I suppose. I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from you. Crack tubes. Sway back. Now, this part oh, of the yeah. quest reset it for me because I changed the difficulty in the middle of the quest. By the way, you can use emotes Greetings. to pet dogs. Hello. Greetings. If you pet them, they will follow you. Hello. Now 
Okay, let's skip this. Wait. The old man sold me this too. He said he didn't need it anymore. Ah, apologies. He also gave me this amulet. What is it? The mark of the Haradrim. An ancient order of scholars and mages, sworn to protect sanctuary from demons. These days, we are few in number. There is another Haradrim. Donan. His breadth of knowledge about demons is equal only to his hubris. Sounds like he could help us. Hmm. You should seek him out in Skosglan. But don't forget about the cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me? I'm going to the dry steps to find out who that pale man is. Join me when you can, just be careful. Your ties to Lilith, the visions you see. You are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Sometimes our paths in life are set to collide. We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. Different lives and incidents drawn together. By what? Destiny? Or some greater power pulling the strings? I did not know. But at the time, I thought I had the chance to protect humanity from the Daughter of Hatred. The Wanderer's connection to her gave me hope. <laughs> Imagine that. At this point, the game opens to you, the town opens. We can get more side quests. Yes, well, Bozan has yet to return from delivering our tithing demands to Menistad. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking him so long. The cathedral must receive its dues. You can also start seeing other players now, since the town is open. Oh, glorious father, thank you. Your light has cleansed the disease from my flesh. I am made whole in your radiance. Father Inarius, bless the child that grows in my belly. Keep him safe in your light. My brother told me you have to shield your eyes in the Father's presence. Or his light will make you blind. That's why the knights wear helmets. We were born in sin. Children of darkness. But the Father's light can be sought through penitence and faith. Walk in the light. We must be ever vigilant against sin, brother. Yes, Reverend Mother. Let the light of Inarius burn away wickedness. Let not temptation lead you from his holy radiance. 
Let righteousness sear away corruption and sin. Cast out thy darkness, for only light must remain. Cast out thine darkness, for only light must remain. Is this the one from the vest? Yes, Reverend Mother. Did Lorath not accompany you? He sent me on without him. Putting faith in that old man was a mistake. What could possibly be of greater import? Lilith. So, you know. Hmm. We have received word from one of our knights of a demon sighting in Gale Valley. The description matches too closely to the sighting in Nevesk. If you would travel to Yelesna and take stock of the events there, you would have the gratitude of the Cathedral of Light. I had thought to send Lorath, but... Again, he fails in his duty. With or without Lorath, the will of Inarius shall be done. Here, take the knight's report before you go. Reverend Mother, I received a report of a potential demon sighting. Horned woman near Yelesna Mines. Performed routine inspection, nothing yet. Sent in priest and escort of knights. We'll report in when we find something. His skill is unmatched. But as you can see, he's not so reliable. It's not out of indifference. He went off searching for a pale man who accompanied Lilith. So someone is helping her. <sighs> How easily the souls of men sink to darkness. She is spawn of a prime evil. Mark my words. Nevesk was but the beginning. She will kill again. But our father, the angel Inarius, is prophesied to defeat her. Where there is faith, there need not be fear. One of our flock, the watch commander, Vigo, sent word of a demon sighting. A girl claimed to see a horned woman. The risk is too great to dismiss. Seek him out. He should be well into his search. So we also got uh, this waypoint. When you hover over the waypoint, you can see what services are available in that uh, town, settlement, whatever. So let's go there to unlock that uh, waypoint quickly. Oh, and on the map. Uh, on PC at least, you can right click to set a pin to that location and then the game will show you a path to that location. This thing here is a world event. So let's do that. These world events, you can complete them with other players. You don't have to group with other players. Anybody can do them at any time. You may find some other players at the end of this event. So all you have to do is join to get the loot. 
These events also scale for each player, so... You can see the number 6, which is also my level at the moment. And at the moment, it's funny how this game scales with you, because some lower level characters I need time to can be more powerful than higher level players, if they are not built properly. So it may seem that uh, some lower level players deal more damage to the same enemies than higher level players. I know it may sound weird because it is weird. It's how the scaling works in this game. So this event dropped uh, O-Balls, which I can use to buy some stuff. I need more time. I need more time. An axe! Specifically the axe of the woodsman. A man who stalked and butchered travelers in this area. Rumor has it, the woodsman disappeared recently and left his weapon behind. The priest who hired me didn't offer much more to go on. At this rate, I'll freeze before I find the damn thing. If you help me find the axe, I'll cut you in on the pay. Check the woods around town. I'm staying here where it's safe. I don't. Parent does. He's a priest of sorts, but... What he wants with it, I don't know. I've done work for him in the past. Always odd items or objects with a history. He pays well for them. Now we can find the woodsman axe here. Now if you see me go in a map and exit quickly, it's because sometimes the map is bugged on, on PC at least. And I can't hover over the quests or icons that I want to see. So I have to enter the map, leave and then enter again. I don't know when they will fix that bug, but currently that bug exists. Not while I'm in town. Also, the horse has a fear level down here.
the blood of the Lamb. Must have been a grim place, judging by how much blood is on this axe. I confess, I'm eager to leave this place. I can't shake the feeling that I'm being watched. Now to get this thing back to Menestad and collect my due. Thank you for your help. Now this was a simple fetch quest. But this quest actually has a continuation. It will continue through another side quest. Not while I'm in town. Now, from anywhere on the map, you can just teleport. On my setup, it's T for teleport. And the teleport will take you to the main town in the region. If you want to go back, you just have to enter this portal. Okay, there is this side quest. Let's do that. The main quest that I got here takes me down here. These quests, I can't hover because of the bug. This quest requires level 10. This one requires level 15. This is basically Act 2 quest and Act 3. While this region over here is Act 1. I cannot do that here. Over here is another world event. I'm not ready yet. I need time to prepare them. I need time to prepare that. I am. My guard turned on me, tried to choke the life out of me. All I could do before I lost consciousness was go over the cliff. I need to return to Kuyovashad and request a night escort. Please, take the tithing demands to the merchant lord Taugun in Menestad.
This is a statue that requires you to use emote wheel. You are courting pain and death. The clue is embolden. Impressive. And now the spirit follows you. Greetings. And you can pet it. Hello. The garrison at Kor Dragan was once formidable, but it's been overrun by vampires, and so many of our best warriors have not returned. Uh, it's a wicked place now. These pilgrims pass through here on their way to Kyovashad, but precious few others visit. How can I survive with so little trade, with no coin coming in? Watch your pockets. When people are hungry enough, they turn to thievery. Don't be quick to judge, stranger. A hungry man taking a loaf of bread is not a thief. Julek? Have you seen my Julek? He said he'd be back in the morning. These pilgrims making their way to Kyovashad are good people. We do our best to keep them safe from the vampire infestation, but we can't save them all. So, the lady from this place wanted an axe. And then she mentioned she would get to this place. And this is the quest that continues that axe quest. A mad woman with an axe? She massacred my nuts like they were children. Her face was pained. As if she could not stop herself, the axe, it seemed to feed on the blood. Someone must separate her from that accursed axe. The town militia won't stand a chance. They served as both protectors and... and as observers I trusted with my work. Do not underestimate her. <laughs> you, anyone but you. Stay back! This one begged for mercy. Now she feasts on human flesh. Magdalena, 
Light be damned, how did this come to pass? I need your help, and we haven't much time. We'll need to purge the demon from the blade before it can be destroyed. Meet me in the crags of ill wind. My study there is on hallowed ground. There is no safer place to perform the incantation. The woodsman's axe. I thought it dangerous, sure, but possessed by a fiend, oh, never would I have guessed. There is little knowledge concerning such a blasphemous artifact. I'll need to visit my study to gather my thoughts. I am Perrin, master of the Forbidden, sanctioned scribe for the Church. My charge is to study the great enemy in all manifestations. Magdalena has been in my employ for years. It pains me greatly to know what has happened. If such an artifact was found in Nevesk, I will see the town burned to the ground and the earth salted. Who knows what other foul things slithered out of that town? I saw eyes in the darkness of the forest before I reached town. Glowing eyes. I've never been so terrified. Bad enough I have to stand watch. Now I'm supposed to police the pickpockets? An arrangement I made went awry, and I was extorted by the ruffian Laskus for protection. He's camped somewhere near the pass to the northwest. Return the gemstones he stole, and I'll make it worth your while. I am so very grateful. I will need to make the necessary arrangements. Please, excuse me. How oh, did this happen? I shouldn't be holding this in my hands. It should be. Restraint, my lord. Restraint. Ah, oh, yes. Of course. Carry on, Misty. Okay, so I got enough reputation for this. Let's claim it. Get some gold and experience. Okay, you see my cursor is above these things. And I don't get anything. If I quit and get back, now I can hover. Okay, let's do that quest. The night has teeth beyond these walls. Better we'd bed down here so that we see the dawn. What do you want sucking the life out of you? The vampires in the forest or the merchants right here in town? Now, the horse speed up has three charges. You can do them one by one, 
Or you can do all three at once. I need time to do that. To get the most speed. Mero sent you. That spineless merchant. Ha! This will cost him dearly. I need more time. Let me show you what happens when the horse gets scared. When it gets scared, you get 30 seconds cooldown for a horse. I'm not ready yet. So, the deed is done. Excellent. I knew you would prove worthy of my trust. I'm sure you've heard the new word as it spreads. We will no longer suffer at the hands of the lesser. Our strength, our might, our destiny is to triumph over the weak. hard man to love. Now even the frozen ground won't take his body. Let's see if there are any more dialogues. Not while I'm in town. Hold on, there's a goblin here. I'm not ready yet. And the goblin gave me my first rare item. All stats, attack speed and dexterity. Here in my study, I have been permitted to research the occult. If we displace the demon bound to the axe, Perhaps we can then see it destroyed. Take the woodsman's axe from the table.
place the axe in the holy water. There's no telling what the demon will do once we begin. Heavenly Father in Arius, let us drive out the demon in our midst. Grant us your favor, so that we may send the fiend back to the pits of hell! Please, Father of Fathers, grace us with your holy light! is no more. I know not what has become of the souls of its victims. We can but pray they have found the light. Well struck. Be wary on the road. Now up here, there should be some side quest. Killing some enemies may drop an item that starts a side quest. What is this? The one that I just got. We can complete it here. This one.
the red dots on the minimap are the enemies that I have to kill for this side quest. I'm not ready yet. And those are the souls that I have to collect. Over here you can see the bar for the quest. Once it's filled up, the quest is complete. I need time to prepare that. It is done. And the side quest is complete. I need time to do that. I need time to do that. I need time to do that. What is this? Another side quest? Now this is a stronghold. I will not complete this yet. I need more time. Let's wait with that one. I could take the cold outside so long as it's quiet. Never have children. Our chieftain heard the call of the ancients, and so we answered. Our destiny awaits us beneath the mountain, and no man or beast will stand in our way. An ambush? Damn these beasts! This was Namran's chain. Thank you for returning it. Do not feed that foolish dog. She was meant to be a hunter. Greetings. Hello. I cannot do that here. I cannot do that here. You were right about the food in Yelezna. <laughs> they can burn a man at the stake, but they can't season a goat.
Not while I'm in town. Too much sitting inside. Ugh, I think I'm getting fat. Less talking, more hitting. Not while I'm in town. Now this is a shrine, if you pick it up, you get some bonuses depending on the shrine. I need time to prepare that. I need more time. I need more time. Damned bandits are tearing us apart. I can't go out again. Fine. Just tell my wife I took your shift. You'll die. And she'll kill me. Did you walk here too? <laughs> I will pray for our feet. This pilgrimage has not been kind to them. Many were bandits, murderers. Others, dear friends. Good, light-tending folk, until they embraced evil. We must not share the fate of Nevesk. Examples must be made. <laughs> we are far from Kyovoshad, friend. Beyond their notice, or care. But the father sees our light burn from high atop his glacier. He knows that Margrave will suffer no evil. I see. So our young brother failed in his pilgrimage to the monastery. A shame. But no worse than any of us have earned, is it? Death of fang and claw, of freezing, of the pyre. Our sinful bodies deserve no better. How many times have I said, do not leave these walls? I promised your parents I would care for you. I am innocent! Uh, don't let me burn! You murdered innocents for the coin in their pockets. Confess and see grace in the light. So you will simply run to Kiyovashad and forsake the rest of us? My heart is sick with screams and smoke. I love the father, you know I do. But I cannot serve him here. 
I would reconsider heading south. Nothing in the swamp worth dying for. Least of all the people. My neighbors fought before, but the curses I heard last night. Ugh. Should I report them to the priest? You've known them for years, Milana. Just... talk to them first. They all look the same. I take them outside. I bury them. I come back. And there are more. All the same. So you passed the altar on your way in, didn't offer a prayer. Perhaps you missed it. We are the last light in the South Peaks. Our ways are hard, but our people are kind. Honor the Father and be welcome. The Father called them to serve elsewhere, but by the light, we endure well enough on our own. The pyre is meant to be noticed. Let the wicked see the flames and think twice before they threaten us here. Now, I'm not gonna take these uh, side quests because we will continue this next time. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>